Are you still on that flaming thing? I'm warding off October blues. Dark nights, dark mornings. No wonder everyone in Norway tops themselves. It's quieter on the cabs and all. Four students to Wally Range. 35p tip. All in copper. When it's all taxes subsidising them while they're all spliffs and read a load of books. Where's my Scott check? What's that, love? My Scott check. I woke up thinking of that. Get another one on Waiter Cabin. There's a parcel there I want to post in. I bet Kirk's had it. I'm going to have to have a word. He's got a liberty. Pays a pepper mill rent and then next your favourite snack. Make sure it goes first class, eh? Alison Ballard? Who the flaming know does Alison Ballard? A satisfied customer. Oh, you're not selling more tats. Vintage cast-offs. Get a certificate thingy. Don't want a carp in that I never sent it. Any uh, chance I get a share of the profits this time? Or am I just the errand boy? You're just the errand boy. Maybe if my wife treated me with a bit more respect, Kurt would think twice before robbing the scotch eggs. Oh, I give in. As soon as I get Dosh off Ballard Bird, you'll get a few pints and a vindaloo. All right? It'll have to be, won't it? What was he doing going round there in the first place? It was a special delivery of sausage. <laughs> Really? No wonder he had a stroke. <laughs> well, a dirt seemed beggar. <laughs> if you must drag his name through the mud, go and do it in somebody else's shop. Oh. Where's my call jacket? Halfway to Arthur, if GPO pulled the finger out. You've never flogged here. And you posted it. It's called teamwork. Vintage clobber, you said. Not the family silver. <sighs> What's yours is mine and vice versa, etc. My pride and joy? No, Les. I. And your pride and joy? That were a manky bit of denim signed by a load of old has-beens with ponytails. You ought to sell that sunbed. It takes up more room than my crow jacket. Where else am I going to get my feel-good factor from? <laughs>